So, Ms. Myers, good to see you back. I just looked over your labs, and it turns out your A1C is still high. I guess you weren't able to do any exercise, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I am exercising. All right, then maybe you aren't taking your pills? I am taking my pills. Did you change your diet? I did. I changed my diet. Hold up. You changed your diet, you're taking your pills, and you're exercising? Your A1C is still 10. It's still too high. I thought 10 was good. Oh, no, it's no, not good? No, 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 I'm sorry. 10, 10 is not good. You see, you, uh, why do you think it's good? Well, I thought that when I stuck my finger that like 100 was good, so 10 must be really good. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't explain that correctly. The, w the way it's supposed to work is the A1C is the average, so it's a different scale of numbers. So, you know, when you stick your fingers, you get hundreds, you get 110, 120, sometimes 200. That's a different number than the A1C. The A1C is an average, and your average basically should be below 7, oh. and yours is 10. So you want to be able to bring that down. And it does have a relationship. As when you stick your finger, as those numbers go down, the A1C goes down. And so that's how that works. And so... And I'm supposed to be what? Well, your, your A1C is supposed to be 7, and that basically means that when you stick your finger in the morning, it should be less than 120. Okay, uh, how are your finger sticks in the morning? Sometimes they're around 120. Sometimes they're around mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe what we should do is we should talk about yesterday. Why don't you describe to me what a typical day is like, what you do, and stuff like that, so maybe I can get a better feel of what's going on. I don't have a typical day. All right, well, don't do a typical day then. Just do yesterday. Okay, Tell yesterday me. is the day I have to go to Jacksonville. We're oh. doing training over there, and I have to go. I'm going to like three times a week. Okay, okay. Week. So you go. So I get up at 6 o'clock, uh -huh. and I get dressed, grab a little bite, and I go, you know, I'm, I head out to Jacksonville. Okay, uh, hold up. You And you head out to Jacksonville. I didn't hear anything about medicine. Did you take your medicine? Um, I don't take the medicine on the days that I go to Jacksonville. In the mornings. Oh. I don't take that morning one. Okay. Do you mind telling me why? Because I've got a, I'm the one driving and uh -huh. we've got a crew that goes over for the training. Yeah. And if I take that medicine and my blood sugar goes too low, I could have a wreck and I just don't want to risk that. Oh. So on the days I go to Jacksonville, I don't, I don't take my morning dose. Okay, okay, so if I'm understanding correctly, then you're telling me that around three times a week you're not taking the pills in the morning. Sometimes four. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that, that actually makes some sense, so now we can figure out what we can do here. I think the first thing I should tell you is that the pill that we gave you um, doesn't make your blood sugar go down that low. You, you seem to be talking from experience. Well, you know my mom's diabetic. Yeah, you told me that. And and when she would take her insulin sometimes, she would okay. just, they called it crashing, she would crash okay, and okay. blood sugar would go really low. And that last time it happened, she'd go to the hospital. And I know if I'm driving and that happens to me, I'm going to wreck. And I'm not going to take that chance. No, and uh, I would tell you not to take that chance. We don't want you to have a wreck or anything like that. Okay, so it's okay I don't take that pill then? But there's one thing that I didn't explain, and that is that insulin is a different kind of medicine than the pill you're taking. Insulin can bring your blood sugar down quickly, all right, and it can bring it lower than it's supposed to be. I thought I was taking an insulin no, pill. No, no, the, the metformin that we gave you is a pill that can lower your blood sugar, but it can't lower it lower than normal. So what ends up happening, you take this pill and you eat your breakfast, then it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. It'll bring your blood sugar down and it'll bring it down to a level that's lower than it usually is, but it won't bring it down to this point where you can crash. So the good news is you can take your pill and feel safe about driving to Jacksonville because you'll be fine. All right? Okay. And uh, you spoke about getting a bite to eat. What, do you, what did you have for breakfast yesterday? I didn't go to Burger King. Okay, good. I, you know, because the co the deal was, we'd get in the car, we'd stop at Burger King on the way out of town, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I'd get the breakfast thing and the hash browns and the coffee right. and at Coke. I, I, I drink Cokes. Okay, okay. So I stopped that. All right. And in the morning, I, I had I had um, oatmeal yesterday. All right, good. And I had um, orange juice because I know that's good for me. Uh -huh. And then I didn't have the coffee on the uh, the Coke on the way to uh, to Jacksonville either. I drank Gatorade. Okay. So. Well, it sounds like you're actually making some changes here. This is good. 
I think switching Coke to Gatorade is an improvement. Coca-Cola has a lot yeah. more sugar than Gatorade does. And, um, but the facts are Gatorade still has sugar. It does? Yes, it does. I thought it was supposed to be good for you. Um, it probably is good for you in certain circumstances. Like after you run the marathon, you might want some Gatorade. Um, me and you don't do that. So <laughs> maybe uh, we can switch to something else. You, you talk to me like you like Coke. Maybe we can uh, switch from Coke to Diet Coke. Had you thought of that before? Actually, I, I thought the Gatorade was good for me, and that's why I switched it's, to the Gatorade. It's not that it's bad for you. It's to, it is that it still has a lot of extra sugars in it that you don't need. And if you switch to a diet drink, they don't have any sugars. So you can still get that Coca-Cola taste. Diet Coke doesn't have any sugar? No, it doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you can still get your Coke taste, but you don't have to deal with the sugars. And then that doesn't make your blood sugar go up. Now, you also mentioned something else that I think we should talk about, and that's the orange juice. Mm -hmm. Now, that's good for that's you. That's right. You know, we were all taught that orange juice is good. The and I have it several times a day. Oh. Well, that probably would explain why your A1C is so high. You know, I, the way I explain it to people is this. Orange juice is, is good because it has vitamins. Bottom line is mm -hmm. that it has a lot of sugar. It has as much sugar, or almost as much sugar, as a regular Coke. So that's another thing that's going to make your A1C go up. Yeah, I know. Confusing messages. What is good is to eat the fruit. But to drink the juice will send your sugar way up, and it'll keep that A1C high. It'll keep those finger sticks in the 200s, and we want to try and avoid that. So okay. those are two things that maybe we can change. And you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you could switch the orange juice to Diet Coke if you want to. Or instead of drinking the orange juice, my suggestion is to eat an orange because that's going to be much better for you. Okay. Okay?